Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for a very special video. We're going to be taking up Human Torch as a 6 star all the way to rank 3 and we're going to be just crushing a ton of Act 6 bosses. Now, I have been trying to get a Science Tier 5 Catalyst for the longest time. This was the class that I wanted the most. Did Abyss, didn't get it. Did Act 6, didn't get it. Did everything in my power. Could not get it. Finally formed it, man. We finally got it. Uh, and it's good that thing that we waited because I would have used it on Thing. Um, so it's good that the game made me wait because now I get to use it on Torch. And yeah, we're going to be taking in two, taking on two bosses in every single chapter of Act 6 here. But right before we get into that, a quick word from today's video sponsor. I don't know about you guys, but when I was growing up, I always loved to collect stuff. And it all started with Pokemon, the whole gotta catch them all mentality. Well now, Raid Shadow Legends has almost 500 champions to collect, upgrade, endless artifacts to track down, over a billion of different teams to try out. This game literally has years of content and will really scratch that collector's itch. Let's head over to the portal to go open up an ancient shard and uh, let's see what pops out. We can get really lucky on these. So we're pulling a three star, nice, a three star honor guard. So now the cool thing that we can do is we can go to this champion's page and we can see reviews that other players have left on him. And then now the cool thing is that we can decide whether this guy is good or food. Because in this game, it doesn't matter if you get a good champion or a bad one, they're still useful either way. If they're bad, we can sacrifice them to level up some good champs. And speaking of good champs, what I absolutely love the most about this game is that it doesn't matter if you pull a really good champ as a one star, a two star, a three star, you know, eventually you can get them all the way to the highest star level by ascending them. And uh, I really like, I really like that you're not star level restricted when you pull a character. So what's new in Raid? Raid just released the Artifact Forge where you can save time and craft artifacts directly, as well as a whole new advanced quest system with some amazing new rewards. And that's not all. They also brought out new amazing champions and they're, they're developing the amazing looking Doom Tower as we speak, which I am super excited about. So if you guys would like to support me in the channel and give Raid a try, go to the video description, click on the special links. And if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver, 50 gems, 10 mysterious shards, and one free champion, the Hexweaver. She's a part of the Dark Elves and she looks really dope. All this treasure will be waiting for you here in your inbox. Good luck and I'll see you there. All right guys, without any further ado, let's take a six star human torch up to rank three, man. Oh my God, it felt so good to finally be able to pull this trigger, man. I have been wanting to take up a science champion to rank three for the longest time. My my two first ever good six star champions were it was Captain Marvel movie that uh, heck, or that, sorry, that Brian pulled me during the summer showdown tournament last year, September of last year. And then Thing was the second ever really good six star that I got and Hector actually got that pull at uh, during Comic Con when we were at the house, uh, our Airbnb. And I, those are the two six stars that I wanted to take to rank three. So, because they were my only good ones. So when I was going through Abyss and Act 6 and everything and I was opening the tier five class catalyst crystals, Cosmic and Science was what I wanted. And I got Cosmic, too, a little too much Cosmic, but I just could never get Science. And I, I kept getting so unlucky with science, I had to pick for all my selectors, I've, I've chosen science, which accumulates 35% of this catalyst. So if it was up to Kabam, I still wouldn't even have enough if, if it was up to RNG. So yeah, and then, but it, you know, it is a good thing that I, that I waited or, or that the game kind of made me wait um, because I, I'm glad to be taking up Human Torch to rank three. If I had to pick any six star science character that's available in the game, take up to rank three human torch would be my number one option the only other champion that would come close would be void and also captain america infinity war is would be like number three but void would be a close second and it, the only reason i actually might do void over human torch is because i would totally give the awakening gem to void and all my six to him um and then maybe thing at like next but um torch just i don't know i uh the, all, all the gameplay i got was uh gathered on the beta just to i could just blitz through it you know on the beta i was just using cosmic ghost rider to run through these paths to get to the bosses and uh don't have to waste energy on uh don't, cause i don't have to use energy refills this way if it's on the beta uh so yeah the only difference between this torch and the main server torch is just the awakening ability which doesn't matter because yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be saving the pre-fight ability for the boss fights anyways 
Um, and yeah, so Eumithorch, you know, I'd love to awaken him, but uh, I, I don't know. If I did it, it would mainly be for prestige. You know, usually like one of the main reasons I wanted to rank up Torch was for Alliance War. He's so good in war. But, you know, I'm usually only using the, the pre-fight once because it's so RNG-based, you know, it's hard to plan for it. So, unawakened, man, he's good to go. So, you can see we just shredded that Loki boss, man. That, that was an Act 6 Loki boss. Just absolutely shredded him. Now, we get to the final boss of Act 6, Chapter 1. So, this is the guy that you got to beat to become the Cavalier. And we're going to be using Human Torch here. So, it's Fisticuffs. Uh, so, right there, I got parried. Kind of annoying. Um, but, yeah, a lot of people say, or not, not anymore, but it used to be, everyone said, Human Torch, yeah, he's good, but only against Mystic Champs. You know, that sort of thing. And that's not true at all, man. He's good against so many other characters, uh, like Sentinel here, for example. Because on Sentinel's L1, he has a whole bunch of energy-based uh, attacks, and they really don't do that much in the block. So you're able to gain a bunch of Smolder, which is phenomenal. Uh, you can see I'm just nailing these reparries. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to be applying these Noble Flames. We could apply them even when Fisticuffs were active. And uh, yeah, there's the Sentinel killing himself with the power thing that we were applying, along with the Noble Flames. Dude, Human Torch, love this guy so much. 37 hits, the, the boss to become Cavalier, you know, no problem. Now we move to another boss here. This is Symbiote Supreme in 6.2. Now, the, the interesting about, thing about this boss is it has Life Cycle. And Life Cycle basically makes it so that uh, they don't take damage from damage over times. I think it's debuffs though, uh, because Nova Flames completely bypass this. So you're gonna see here, um, we're, we're doing damage over time with those Nova Flames, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, man, you can just save the pre-fight ability for the hardest fights, and it's gonna be great. Like, I, ha for example, I had uh, a really hard fight in war a little while ago. It was against a, uh, a Rhino uh, and on the uh, Path 5, the Intercept Path, so you're not doing a, lot of da a whole lot of damage unless you intercept. I used Human Torch pre-fight and intercept a single time, melted him with the pre-fight, man. Like, it, the pre-fight ability is so powerful man it is it is insane it makes human torch one of the best champions in the game i honestly think man with, with his pre-fight ability on he's one of the best champions in the game it doesn't matter if they're not a mystic it doesn't matter if they don't have energy based attacks if he has his pre-fight dude <laughs> he's crazy you know like it's that's why i love the pre-fight so much and you know you just gotta know when to use it and even on matchups when you can't use the pre-fight you know, you just gotta get to a special three, then you get a Noble Flame, or you know, against Mystic Champ, it's actually easy to just get into the no start applying the Noble Flames. So uh, this next boss here we have is the Mordo boss here, and all these bosses are actually before the Act Six nerf. Uh, they haven't nerfed it on the beta yet. I don't know why, uh, but uh, yeah. So Mordo here is, you know, one of the most annoying uh, bosses in six point two, and. Uh, He's a real pain, man. The power gain is so annoying. Do not go gentle. Uh, it's a lot to manage despite his, his normal power gain. But, you know, he's a mystic. So that definitely helps. Uh, but uh, yeah, right here we catch a bit of a combo. Uh, but that's okay. I just want to bait his L2. And then drop my L2. Because uh, he also has all three of his linked nodes here. So without these linked nodes, the fight would be even easier. It's like special delivery and hurt locker. So I can't just throw my special ones to get rid of the special delivery. Super annoying. Uh, so here, uh, he ends up dying to my Nova Flames, so it takes him down to 1 HP, and the Do Not Go Gentle charges I had on me killed me, so I'm going to count that as a solo. He had 1 HP left, uh, pretty close, just because the Do Not Go Gentle shenanigans. But yeah, Human Torch, he melted that, that Mordo, man. So next up here, we have a boss in Act uh, 6, Chapter 3, the Iron Man Infinity War boss. Again, this one was uh, before... Did this guy not get nerfed? I'm not even actually sure. I know the next boss that we fight did get nerfed, um, but not on the beta yet. But it, it wouldn't really have mattered either way. But yeah, Iron Man Infinity War, this is a great fight for Human Torch for a couple of reasons. So uh, this has Arc Overload, so you know Human Torch's uh, Noble Flame passives. Each one of them reduces healing by 20%. So if you have five of those bad boys, that's completely heal blocked. And it's, yeah, once you get the fight going, it's easy to keep up five or, or close to it. You can also uh, get some despair going with the, I have resonate on, so I'm applying a weakness debuff. And uh, yeah, so that's nice. Uh, this node has plagued mine, so our power is getting drained, but it doesn't matter. Like Human Torch, he doesn't need to throw specials, man. 
All you gotta do is medium, light, medium. Three hit combos, and you're good to go. Uh, so right there you see I parry the uh, last beam hit of his special one. I'm really good at fighting Iron Man Infinity War with Human Torch uh, because of Abyss. Actually, I've, I've sold the Abyss Iron Man with Human Torch. Um, that, that was cool. Uh, but yeah, for, for this video on Human Torch, I just wanted to focus on Act 6 bosses. Might do another Rank 3 Torch video soloing like Abyss fights. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. Jump back into the Abyss, do some, have some fun in there. I know Human Torch can solo, get at least five fights in the Abyss. So it'd be, a, it'd be a pretty interesting video. I'm sure you could actually solo even more. I think I've soloed four or five of them so far, and I know there's a couple more I could solo now. And ha now having a rank three, I think I'd be able to solo a couple more. So right here, I uh, slightly misgaged his amount, the amount of power he was getting. So we took uh, his L1, and we're getting shocked a bit here. But uh, we just just stall a little bit, throw my special one just to kill some time, and the Nova Flames get Iron Man the rest of the way down. So a little bit of a sketchy ending there, but uh, there's another Act 6 boss soloed, 47 hits. Now next up here we have Mysterio. So yeah, like I said, this guy definitely was nerfed, and uh, now he, you're able to armor break him, uh, but on the beta here he's still armor break immune. So I've actually done this fight before, we uploaded a Human Torch video not too long ago, uh, when I took him up on the beta and had some fun with him. Uh, it was really it was my first taste of rank 3 torch. Uh, now I actually have it, so that's great. Uh, but yeah, so I wanted to do this Mysterio fight again. So I've, I've done it now once uh, in, in that, that one video, but I wanted to do it again. Uh, and, you know, it, it should be easier now because um, I've done it once. And uh, yeah, I do think his Mysterio is a pretty tricky boss, man. And just especially just to solo because it's so easy for this fight to go wrong. It's, it's honestly crazy. Uh, just this fight can go from good to, to bad in no time flat. It's honestly ridiculous. And paired with Mysterio's all his crazy nodes and his crazy AI, it gets it gets pretty wild. So he keeps on throwing these L ones, which is not good. We do not want him to throw the L one because we can't really attack him uh, in that period while he has that little. Uh, icon active after the L1 under his health bar and he just keeps throwing him so he's kind of pinning me in the corner here so we're just going to chill uh, evade these heavy attacks we're ready for them uh, but uh, the good thing is here is that we have falter so as long as we stay above 10 temperature we cannot miss uh, which is great man it, it, it counters so many annoying mischamps like Mysterio, Darkhawk uh, could also counter Invisible Woman, that's not the most ideal matchup, but against like Darkhawk and Mysterio, it's, it's so easy to stay above that temperature threshold because they both have um, energy-based special ones, so if you block their special ones, you gain like 15 temperature, I think even more uh, with Darkhawk, and uh, yeah, it's, just, it's so easy to retain temperature, it's, it's awesome. So yeah, as long as we have that Falter debuff on us, we're actually just healing from willpower. Here you see Mysterio through his special two, uh, and that gives him, I think it's like a, a certain percent chance to for you to miss, but because we're above 10 temperature, it's just miss failed uh, every time. It's, we don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, right there, he caught me with a bit of a combo, which is annoying. And here, he's uh, not throwing a special, so I'm going to get poisoned, but I have the Nick Fury uh, restoration kit, so that's going to help with that. Uh, just because, like, yeah, like I said, this AI, man, it's just, you never know. You never know what it's going to do. It's pretty crazy. But that Falter, man, it's some really nice passive healing. And because we're a uh, six star rank three now, our health pool is massive. So it's it's, te it's healing for 310 per tick, or sorry, per second, 155 per tick, which is crazy. And he's also applying a power lock debuff uh, after his special uh, two. So that's even more willpower healing. And uh, yeah, this Mysterio is dead. Soloed him. Uh, it's Good to fight him again. Definitely kind of knew what I was doing a little bit more this time. And uh, yeah, that, I think that's one of the, the, the hardest Axic bosses to solo. So I felt great about that. That's 6.3. Now we're going to move into 6.4. So here we have the Iceman boss. This is 6.4, uh, chapter 1. So Iceman here, he had almost 500,000 health. Really stacked boss. And uh, he has Matador, protection shielding, all this stuff. Um, and you know he's Iceman, so you gotta come in here with someone who is immune to Cold Snap. Luckily for us, Human Torch is immune to Cold Snap and Incinerate, so we don't have to worry. Right there, we're gonna reparry his combo a little bit, uh, three out of five hits, just to reduce the block damage that we're taking. Uh, yeah, so Human Torch is a pretty good Iceman counter if you have the pre-fight on. 
because Iceman is immune to incinerate, of course, so if you don't have the pre-fight on, you're not really going to be doing anything. But uh, he's not immune to Noble Flame because no one in this game is immune to Noble Flame, not even Human Torch himself, which is kind of weird. But uh, it's, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. No one's immune to it, so that's great. So you see what I'm doing here is when he throws, Iceman throws a special one, um, I'm opting to parry it. That way it reduces the damage, but we're also gaining smolders and temperature. So, you know, when you're playing Human Torch, you want to keep your temperature as high as possible. If you can keep it at 20, you know, that's perfect. Uh, and yeah, smolders help to retain temperature and everything like that. Uh, I'm going to start hitting a little, couple of intercepts here just because I've been just taking quite a bit of damage. After the L3, I was looking at our health pools. I'm like, ah, crap. He's winning this fight right now. Uh, so yeah, we've got to kind of turn the tables on him. But now that we uh, actually have some temperature, our incinerates are lasting a whole bunch longer, which is really great because they, they, they start to hit pretty hard. So uh, yeah, we're, we're getting this Iceman down. Uh, I think here I'm going to... That's one thing you can do. It's, it's kind of risky. You can uh, charge your heavy attack a little bit to gain some temperature and then just throw the special three before the opponent has a chance to, to come at you. Just in matchups where you're not able to just parry heavy or you know reliably charge the heavy attack. I only got a couple temperature there because I got a little scared. But uh, yeah, there's a Iceman boss down by Human Torch. That pre-fight man, it's just it's so powerful. It is so insanely powerful. And yeah, 58 hits for uh, a more unideal matchup. So yeah, and then we got one more fight here for you guys. This is also in Act Six, Chapter Four. This is the Dark Hawk boss. So this guy has just a ton of crazy nodes. He starts out unblockable. He's got a ton of health, 442,000 HP. It's a very stacked boss, but uh, Human Torch is phenomenal for uh, fighting Darkhawk. And I've actually gotten a lot of practice fighting Darkhawk also in Abyss, uh, which is great. So here I'm just trying to bait out a heavy attack. There we go, perfect. Now we're gonna push him into his shield mode. And then we're gonna push him to a special one. And then we're going to block that special one. We're going to build up some temperature. We're also going to build up a couple of smolders, which is what I really want. Uh, on this node, it has power efficiency. So for the defender, they only lose 50% of their power when they throw a special, which is actually really good for us. We're going to we're going to use that to our advantage here. So we're going to push Darkhawk to his special two here, and he's going to throw it, and he's going to go into stealth mode. So he's going to get some regen going, uh, and so we can pretty much cancel out that regen, even start to reverse it. Uh, like I said, as long as we have at least five of the Noble Flames, which is really great. And uh, yeah, we can just kind of get into this loop of switching his modes, you know, triggering that regen. And yeah, we don't really have to deal with the shield mode. And it's, uh, yeah, it's great. This is what you can do in Abyss as well to really reverse his healing. It's, it's really awesome, man. And we, just, we never have to worry about missing. We don't have to worry about auto blocking because the shield doesn't stay up for long. And he keeps triggering specials with power shield, or sorry, with uh, power sting. So he's just killing himself. And uh, yeah, Dark Hawk goes down there. Very, very clean fight. I haven't done this fight in a while, and that was my first try, and it went flawlessly. 45 hits, and he's dead. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this six star rank three Human Torch video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a thumbs up, share it around, spread the word. Rank three Human Torch, man, ridiculous. Let me know what else you guys want to see with Rank 3 Human Torch. Would you be interested in a video similar to this, but with Abyss fights? Uh, I'm going to be bringing him into Alliance War, so if you guys want to see more action there, go check it out. He's been on my team every single war since I took him to Rank 3, and he's been mounting those mystics. So yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Peace out.